Gibraltar's Chief Minister Fabian Picardo said yesterday he would fight to defend British sovereignty as the one-year countdown to Brexit begins. Mr Picardo said talks regarding joint sovereignty of Gibraltar between Spain and the UK should never be allowed to take place and called on the ROC's politicians, whatever the party, to join together against such a move. And, while expressing disappointment at the Brexit vote, which was strongly opposed in Gibraltar, he said it was time for the territory to stand tall together with England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. He said, rest assured that we are working assiduously to carve out a future for all of us which is grounded in protection of our exclusively British sovereignty, jurisdiction and control. Getty Brexit News, Gibraltar will remain British despite Spain attempting to exploit Brexit. I will never countenance any compromise in that respect. No. One in my government will countenance any compromise in that respect. None of you will countenance any compromise. In that respect, rest assured that these are our fundamentals. These are not things with which we will barter or trade. He dismissed Spain's attempts to exploit Brexit as a means to seize back control of Gibraltar, which has been a UK Navy base and territory for centuries. Mr Picardo said Gibraltar, regardless of Brexit, will remain British as the UK leaves the EU. Getty Brexit News Gibraltar voted overwhelmingly to remain in the EU. Getty Gibraltar has a strong British identity despite being thousands of miles from mainland Britain. We will protect our nation's interests at every turn. Gibraltar's Chief Minister Fabian Picardo, he said, rest assured that we will not tolerate the return to a bilateral process of talks between the UK and Spain about Gibraltar, so do not for one moment allow yourselves to believe that we would agree or consent to anything which is contrary to our fundamentals, because we will protect our nation's interests at every turn. Gibraltar voted overwhelmingly to remain in the EU, with the ROC registering the highest remain vote out of any constituency at 95.91%. Despite this, Mr Picardo said the territory's loyalty was to Westminster, not Brussels, and issued a rallying cry as the clock ticks down to Brexit. He said, and so, 365 days from midnight, together with the United Kingdom, we will bid farewell to membership of the European Union, together as a nation, we will look forward to our future in the British family of nations and as part of the Commonwealth, together as a community we We'll reluctantly lower the European flag. We will work to deliver solutions that preserve all that is dear to us, especially our undiluted, exclusively British sovereignty. Let no one doubt that.